Coming up on the joy of editing, have you ever tried to save out your Photoshop actions in case you have a crash and you have to reinstall Photoshop? Saving Photoshop actions can be a very time-consuming process. Not only saving them, but also reinstalling them. Today, I'll show you how to do it in less than a minute, saving as well as reinstalling. I'm your host, Dave Kelly. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you for joining me again today. This is going to be a very informative tutorial for you, especially if you have a lot of Photoshop actions and you want to save those out, back them up in case you get a crash in Photoshop and you have to reinstall Photoshop. And it is a pain to pull all your actions back into Photoshop as well as saving them out. It's a very time-consuming process, but I'll show you how to do it very quickly. So you don't want to miss any of this. If you watch my TK Friday videos, you know I really love to work with actions. And there's tons of actions to work with in TK8. And you can make your own actions. And I have a panel here called the My Actions panel. And I have several of my actions in here that I use all the time. Now, depending how your Photoshop is set up, your actions may be in a different location than mine are at. But you see this play button right here. My actions live in here. And if I click on this, you can see here are, are my actions in here. And if you don't have your actions showing up, you can come up to window and you're going to find actions right here. So just click on actions and your actions will show up somewhere on your desktop. Now you could take this action group right here and I could pull it out here or I could place it anywhere I want. This is not a workspace tutorial, but I'm just going to put it right back where it was and make this a little bit smaller. But here is where your actions live. I've recently made a workspace video, how to arrange your workspace. Now it deals with the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, but it's applicable for any workspace situation. And in that video, I also show you how to back up your workspace in case Photoshop crashes and you need to reinstall your workspaces. I'll place a link at the end of this video in case you want to go and watch it. Before I show you the easy way to back up your actions, I'll show you the normal way to do it. And as far as I know of, I've never seen a video how to do it the way that I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way. So I don't know. There could be one out there, but I don't know if there is. I was talking to Tony Kuiper last Wednesday, and we put our heads together and discovered a way to save out your actions very simply and easily. So a shout out to Tony for helping me get this all figured out. Here's the normal way to save out your actions. Now, you'll notice here default actions. These are default Photoshop actions. If I click right here and open this up, this is a action group and there's a bunch of actions in here. Now you can save out a whole group of actions, which is really nice. So if I have this group right here, make it active. You see it's highlighted here. And if I click on this hamburger menu, I could click save actions. And the name of the action comes up here as save as dot ATN for action. And then you just point your, your file browser to wherever you want to save your actions at. And just remember where that location is and then click save. And that will save out that whole group of actions. I'm going to click cancel here, but then you'd have to go for each group and save those out the same way. Or if you just have individual actions, you'd have to click on that action, go to the hamburger menu and click on the save. It's a long process. And then to reinstall them, you got to do the same thing. You got to reinstall them. There are a lot of power users out there, Photoshop power users that may have over a thousand actions. Saving a lot of actions takes a long time. Putting them in a bit quicker but saving them is a long process. Now you may think, you know what, Dave? Okay, so you have this group selected. What if you hold your command or control key down and select this next group and this group and this group? And you're saying, see, look, you can select them all, but check it out. When you click on the hamburger menu, save actions is grayed out. So you do have to save them one at a time. So that can be a real pain. But now let me show you the easy way to save them and then I'll show you how to put them all back in the easy way as well. The first thing you need to know is where are those actions living on your computer and I'm going to show you. I'll start with a Mac and then I'll show you where you'll find them on a PC. Now I don't have a PC, I have a Mac and I'll give you a few tips for all you Mac users. I'm not leaving the PC users out because I just don't know or I tell you. Okay, Mac users, what you need to do is open up your Finder app. So I'm going to click my Finder icon right here. Now you'll notice 
there's a library folder here. Now, there's two libraries in a Mac, in case you didn't know. One is hidden. This is not the library I want. I want the hidden library. To find that, what you need to do is come up to the Finder menu and click on Go. And you won't see it here. You see it on mine because there was something I did to make it show here all the time, and I can't remember how to do it. But I'll show you how to save it as a favorite. So you won't see it here, so hold your Option key down. And when you do, Library will pop up, and you'll click on it. So once you click on library, it opens up the library. Now, here's what I want you to do. This is a favorites section over here where you can save things out, which makes it really handy to find things. So if you want to always be able to access that library, here's what you need to do. Click on library, and you see that little folder right there? Click on that. Left click and hold the click down and drag it over, and you could put it anywhere here in the favorites area that you want. Mine's already right here, so I don't have to do that. One thing I forgot to say is I'm going to click this again and drag this folder over. Once you get it to where you want it, release the left click of your mouse and it'll place it there. I just wanted to point that out. And you'll notice if I come up here to group and if I click group, it says none. Now you could group things by date last open, date add, and so on. Mine's set for none. When it's in none, I believe these are in alphabetical order. So just scroll down until you find preferences. And once you get preferences, which is right here, here's what I want you to do. We're going to save this as a favorite. This is a tip for a Mac user. Windows people out there, once we get to Windows, if you know how to save folders to favorites somewhere to access them easily, let us know in the comments section below. But what I want you to do is left click and drag. And again, you can do the same thing. Place it wherever you want. Like I have mine right here, as you can see, preferences. So you would just place it right there and then it would be there as a favorite. So now when you want to access preferences, all you have to do is click here. See right now I could double click here and open up preferences. I can go back or if I click preferences here, the same thing will happen, okay? So that's important. So save that out. Now once you're in here, what you want to look for is Adobe Photoshop 2023 settings. And again, do the same thing. Left click and drag it and put it over here as a favorite which I've already done, as you can see, 2023 settings. And I also have Photoshop Beta. And if you also have Photoshop Beta, left-click it, drag it over, and place it in favorites so you can access that easily too. Now we need to open up Adobe Photoshop 2023 settings by double-clicking on it. Or if you saved it in favorites, just click right here. I'll just double-click on it. And what you need to do is find actionspellet.psp. That is the one. And what you're going to do is just right click on it and you can just click on copy. All right. And once you do that, you can go ahead and place it anywhere on your computer where you know where it's at in case you ever need to access it and put it back. So I'm just going to put it on my desktop. I'm just going to right click on my desktop and click paste item. And there it is right there. And now let me show you that this works. What I'm going to do is go back to Photoshop. I'm just going to click on Photoshop and quit Photoshop. And now this is where you have to be brave. I'm going to be brave here and prove that this works. I'm going to click on my actions PSP. I think that stands for Photoshop preferences. I'm not sure, but I think it does. I'm going to click this, right click it and move it to the trash. Okay, it is gone. I'm going to close this out by clicking the X. And then if you'll notice on my desktop, here is the actions PSP that I saved out. The other one is in the trash can. So now what I'll do is open Photoshop back up. So I'm going to click on Photoshop 2023. We'll open it back up. I'll just open up that last photo I had by double clicking it. And now here's my actions palette. Now you'll notice I have the Photoshop default actions. They automatically always come in. Okay, so they're there. But look, all my other actions are gone. Kaput. No longer here but let me show you how you get them back in. I'll go ahead and quit Photoshop again. So I'll quit Photoshop. And now let me open up my Finder again, my Finder app. And I saved these out in favorites, right? So let me go to Adobe Photoshop 2023 settings because that's where actionpellets.psp lives. So I'm going to click this and you can see there it is. But that only has those Photoshop actions, okay? So say Photoshop crashed and we had to do a clean install of Photoshop, the regular Photoshop actions will come back in 
and this shows it right here. But I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and move this to the trash. And as you'll recall on my desktop, my backup copy of actionspellet.psp is right here. I'm going to right click it and click on copy. Or I could do a command C or whatever. And then come up here, right click and click on paste item. And there it is right there. Now I can go ahead and close this out. So I brought my backup back into the Adobe Photoshop 2023 settings. I'm going to X out of here. And now I'll open Photoshop back up and we'll see if this worked. And now we're back in Photoshop. So let me go ahead and double click this same image, which I haven't done anything to. But as you'll notice here, all of my actions are back. And just to show you, I'll add a curves adjustment layer and I'll use one of my actions. I'll just pull down on the midtones to darken it up. And here's a before after action I have in my TK8, my actions panel. Here's the before and here's the after. And here's my Nick Selective tool. If I click this, it opens up my Nick Selective tool. I'm going to go ahead and close it now. So my actions are all back safe and sound. And now you know how to save out all of your actions very quickly, probably under a minute, under a half a minute, as well as bring them all back into Photoshop in case of a crash very quickly, very easily. And now let's turn our attention to Windows machines. Tony Kuiper sent me this screenshot for Windows users. Okay, and this is the path that you're going to take to get to the actionspellet.psp. You want to go to users, username, app data, roaming, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop 2023, and then Adobe Photoshop 2023 settings. That is your path. And if any Windows users out there know how to save a file folder to favorites or something like that, please let us know in the comments section below. It'll be very helpful to those out there who don't know how to do that. All right. But once you get the Adobe Photoshop 2023 settings, you're going to find actionspellet.psp in there. Again, copy it, save it, put it somewhere where you could get to it very easily. If you ever have an issue where you have to do a clean reinstall of Photoshop, after you reinstalled Photoshop, the original Actions Palette, which would only have the Photoshop actions in it, you'll need to close Photoshop, come here to Adobe Photoshop 2023 settings, delete the original actionspellet.psp out of there, which will only have the original Photoshop actions in it, and then paste in your backup copy into here, and then restart Photoshop, and you should be good to go. Well, there it is, everyone. As you can see, it's very quick and easy to save out your Photoshop actions. Look for that Photoshop actionspellet.psp. Save it out as a backup, and it's easy to reinstall back in in case you ever have a crash in Photoshop and need to do a clean install. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. And don't forget, please share this because there's a lot of folks that would really appreciate getting this information. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.